Hey guys, first and weather here. This is going to be a pretty uh, substantial video, but I'm going to quickly talk about the uh, relatively minor snow chance for Tuesday for the Mid Atlantic, and uh, it's looking uh, quite likely that we could see some snow. But again, it's going to be qu it's going to be uh, a minor event, a really cheap thrill for most people. So let's get started. So this is the GFS model, and again, um, I've really noticed uh, something really interesting this winter. And that's the fact that the GFS model has really been more accurate than the European this winter, and I just don't know what it is. But uh, in the short term and in and, and most most of the midterm, uh, the GFS has really just been more accurate than the European than the European model, and um, that's really good uh, to see from the GFS. You know, it's good to see that we're making some progress with the American model. So without further ado, let's get started. So. Uh, if we take this through, this is the 18D run, um, and so we're going to see some rain showers uh, all, basically all of Sunday. Uh, we're going to have the chance of rain all of Sunday, and we could actually sleep, see anywhere from a half an inch to one and a half inches for uh, portions of central Virginia, Virginia. and um, this rain is going to extend all the way down to the southeast and all the way up to the, no to the northeast, um, basically uh, this entire area is, is going to see rain tomorrow. And it could be pretty pretty substantial rain, and this is really much needed rainfall. In fact, we have uh, por uh, portions of Northern Virginia that are under severe drought, and a lot of Central Virginia is under moderate drought too. And that's a that's the same story for the Northeast and Southeast. So uh, definitely, any precipitation would be uh, really uh, is really needed right now. So this is going to be really good for uh, the Eastern United States. And again, half an inch to about one and a half inches. So that goes through. And then we see a little more. We see a little more scattered rain on uh, Monday, uh, but it's lighter and it should end um, by the late afternoon and early afternoon. So then we go through. This is way early Tuesday, about 1 a.m. And so you have a little system coming through. Look at this. You have a trough in the east, so you have cold, you have colder air coming through. You have a little disturbance coming through. This is 12z around the morning. You have a little few snow showers coming through, and then. This is 18Z, a little band of snow right here, and that goes through, and then by late Wednesday, that's gone. So a really small event, really short, just a couple hours, a few light flurries or snow showers, really nothing big at all, um, really very minor, um, and you can see that's really mainly for just uh, this area right here, and um, again, surface temperatures will be really warm due to the recent uh, warm snap we've had. Uh, temperatures also will be marginal in the atmosphere, um, basically at or above freezing for central Virginia. So I think even if we do see a light period of snow, it's going to have a very hard time sticking. If you do get a heavier band of snow, it could stick on the grassy surfaces, but I highly doubt um, that, that it's going to stick on the roads. And so again, if we look at the timing of this, uh, it's about... Tuesday, anywhere from Tuesday morning to Tuesday evening. Again, we're quite far away still, so it's not the timing still isn't uh, uh, perfect yet. But again, uh, just basically be on the lookout for a few scattered snow showers and a period of light snow for Tuesday. Again, uh, accumulations minor, and I highly doubt this will impact your commute. However, in these areas like uh, Western Pennsylvania, you might get a little light coating on the roads for a very short period of time, especially in the neighborhoods, since surface temperatures there will be colder. Uh, so yeah, really just a cheap thrill, coating to one inch at best in those areas, and I think in central Virginia, maybe just a dusting. However, this might change. I'll update you on any changes that come up, and um, yeah, that's right now it looks to be really nothing much at all. But now if we go past that, um, the GFS has more of a flat flow, nothing really uh, too extreme. This is Thursday. Then the GFS brings this system in, and um, if we go to the pre uh, um some of the previous model runs and you'll see that, that the GFS had a huge and very strong system because it had this cold front stalling and then it had a very strong low pressure system building off of it and it had some very very heavy snows and as you can see it's backed off considerably uh, off that and now you can see it's really just nothing at all maybe just a, a, um, a change over to a few light snow showers at the very end this is Friday so as of now we're gonna see some rain entering the area Friday afternoon changing to a period of light snow late Friday night into the early a.m. into the very early morning hours of Saturday accumulations again will be really mil minimal in the central Virginia area uh, but again this is gonna span all the way to the northeast to uh, northwestern portions of South Carolina so 
Uh, you might see a little bit of a dusting in these areas right here, especially along the bay. Uh, in these areas, we get a little bit of heavier snow, but really, accumulations in central Virginia should be very minimal, and it's going to be a very short period of snow. So again, nothing to worry about, just a cheap thrill. However, this might change. This is still um, six days away, so things might change. So I'll keep you updated on that. And uh, now if we move past that, we get that little, we get that flow, we get colder air coming in, building from Canada, get that cold air coming in, we got that little trough, and then we got warmer over, over here. So again, you can see that now, uh, starting February 4th, the GFS has a, a, an active and stormy pattern over the east, because if you remember, uh, that huge cold snap that we had in uh, late December, early January, the jet stream was more like this. You had it like this. And it was a very sharp jet stream, and so what, what you had was, you had these storms going completely south, not intensifying at all, and you had nothing for this entire area right here. So you had really just no snow, very dry conditions, but that should change with this system, because you're going to have the jet stream in a more west-to-east fashion, still delivering that colder air to the eastern United States. And so... That's going to bring the uh, transfer, that's going to bring colder weather, and it's going to bring stormier weather, and that's good for snow lovers along the eastern coast. So now if we take this through, again, this is, after this, um, reliability in the forecast becomes very low, accuracy becomes very low, but what this, this can give you a good indicator of the pattern, and that's more important than the individual weather forecast. So now let's close out of that, and let's look at this. So the GFS has a little, has a little system that stalls and rides up, and again, um, basically an active sy a system. So, and that continues, um, and this is February 12th, and you still have a relatively cooler air over here, a flat flow, and so you, you're going to have basically periods of mild air, periods of colder air, so I think over the next couple of weeks, from February 4th to February 15th, we're going to have uh, slightly below average temperatures in central Virginia, with below average temperatures uh, in this area over here. And so if we look, I'm going to make a quick graphic for you guys, really rough and sketchy, but um, I think this area over the next couple of weeks um, is going to be the winter battle zone uh, if we do see a system. So I think storms over the next couple of weeks will track like this, but if they, and if they do develop, they're going to go like this. So they're going to go like that and like that. So these areas will be the winter battle zones, while these areas could have the potential to see some big time snows if a storm does materialize. And that's a big emphasis on the if, uh, if they do materialize. So that's all for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I'll see you next time.